Oh, that doesn't look good. I just went to the skate park for the first time since they just opened up and I twisted my ankle really, really badly. It hurt so much, I could barely make it back to the van. This is terrible, I really have a bad feeling about this. It is in so much pain. I really hope I didn't break it. I heard like a nice cracking noise. It's in, it's so swollen, I can already feel it. This is terrible. Oh man, this is so sad. Damn it. And if you look at my left ankle, you can definitely see that something has happened. It definitely looks a little bit larger. There's definitely a difference. This is three months into getting serious at skateboarding and we have the first serious ankle injury. That is ice in my boxers. How ridiculous that looks. That leg, that leg. Look at that. It's so messed up. I'm gonna end up getting an x-ray tomorrow morning, which means I'm gonna have to sleep with this ankle tonight and it hurts, and I don't wanna move it badly in the middle of the night, so I'm gonna roll it up and <laughs> keep it stationary by using a cooking utensil and a ruler so it doesn't move side to side in the middle of the night. So we got one ruler here, we got a spatula here, that's gonna be the first layer. All right, there it is, it's by no means the world's greatest system, but it should get the trick done of keeping it sturdy during the night. I will see you tomorrow when I'm getting the x-ray. I want to explain to you guys exactly what happened. I was going off this ledge right here. I tried to pop shove it and I almost landed, but my ankle landed like that and then I just twisted it pretty bad. I just woke up and the sleep was all right. Had one leg up here, other leg here, and had to sleep like this all night. Oh, this is literally, I have to jump around everywhere. It's now time to go to the hospital and get an x-ray. Well, here we are, emergency department. So I didn't do too much recording in the hospital, but they did give me this wonderful wheelchair here, which they pushed me around in because they saw me hopping around everywhere. So at this point I had already got the x-ray done and I was just sitting and waiting for the doctor to come. And here you could see the results were good because I was walking away and I was happy. We just got the news. And no break. All good. Basically it's just some pull or strain or something. No big problems at all. It should be good in a couple of weeks apparently. I am so excited, thank God. It's pretty crazy how bad the bruise got the next day. And then day three, somehow it almost went away. It's been four days since I've fallen on the ankle and it feels a lot better, like I'm able to walk, but it's really fat around the calf and around the ankle still. Just look at this. Like look how much fatter it is than the other leg. It's so weird but it hurts way less, so it's it's really interesting. Man, look at my foot, it's like, you can see all the swelling and the bruising around the toes and it's so fat. And then for some reason the bruising decided to migrate to my toes. What is going on everyone? It is now day nine of the ankle struggle and it is like significantly better than day seven. This is now the 11th day since I've sprained my ankle and I think it's finally good enough to ride a skateboard. All right, so super happy I can actually ride around. Feels pretty comfortable, still feels a little tight. If I really lean forward, or like that definitely not gonna be trying any sort of flick, flip, any sort of tricks where I'm actually flicking my foot out. Manuals riding around should be good for the next couple days and hopefully we'll be right back at it. If you made it this far, consider subscribing and I'll see you next week.